Hey again guys and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at this novel new type of LED tape. I think these are available in different widths and I really should have got a really wide one. But this one here is with the phosphor band that continues forever and it has little LEDs printed on the backing directly. Now these are a little bit more expensive, you can find them in the link below, but I think the bonus of this is it doesn't cast multiple shadows like individual LEDs do. I think this thing is going to be really useful for sort of like under cabinet lighting and that kind of stuff. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, this is a 5 meter long tape of it. We are going to power it up and then I'm going to uh, take it apart, see if I can sort of uh, cut this up into pieces and, and peel off the phosphor coating to see what's inside. So I've got my power supply here, the Reedin RD6018, and I'm just going to plug it into these connectors that it comes with. I'm not sure if this is the right polarity, but we're about to find out. Yeah, there we go. So the brightness is actually quite good. It's not super bright but it's quite bright especially this is at the very other end of the thing and you can see all the individual little LEDs in there it's pretty neat so we are powering this at 12 volts and it's pulling you know 1.7 amps or so it'll depend a little bit on these connectors but but 1.1.7 amps so 20 watts for this uh, 5 meter strip not too bad let me get you a closer look at the LEDs lit up and then we can take it apart. Hopefully that is in focus and it's a little dark because we're about to turn this on. And there we go. But you see how smooth it is? It's very linear. It's, it's, I can perceive little bits of light coming from back there, but it's not that bad. I will make this even darker so you can see. So you see the little points of light? Those are the little LED chips underneath. And that's what we're going to go take a look when we rip this off. There's also a dark spot. I can't really see it right now. But I think it's somewhere around here, around that little plus sign. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing it. But in certain conditions, I can see it. Let me see if I can drop the voltage. Let's see. Let's go 10 volts. Okay, it's very dim now. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. No, I can't, I can't see it anymore. But yeah, every once in a while you do see a little dark spot in between. I think it's right here on this one, right between these two. And that is where I think the resistor is. So we're going to have to check that out by tearing it apart. So I cut a little bit off of here and uh, I just stuck it down onto my board here. Maybe you can see the dark spot now. It's actually right here. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. We're going to try to peel off this, um, this phosphor coating. I'm going to try not to move too much. Kind of like skinning a fish. Oh, I felt something hard. Oh, there we go. There's a little resistor right there. There's the resistor and these are the little diodes. Now, if I if I power this, this should be somewhere along the lines of blue because how white LEDs work is they are actually blue LEDs which excite the phosphor, the yellow that you see in the gel coat. I'm just going to turn this on. Oops, at 10 and a half. Yeah, it's okay. We'll try low, low voltage. Hopefully I'm going to be on in shot for this. There we go. Oops. There we go. They're quite blue. If you can see that. Uh, maybe not, but the reflection off my fingers you can see is blue. And there's a little LED, or LED, resistor there. Let's see if I can get you even closer. It might be at the focusing limit here, but I'm going to give you a shot. 
this seems to be the practical limit for this lens. But uh, there it is, the little resistor, and there's the bunch of little LEDs. That's pretty interesting, but I think I can get you just a little bit closer. And I think this is the practical limit of closeness in my home shop. I've got you underneath the pluggable microscope, and you just saw the little resistor fly by there. These here are the little diodes, and I can't really tell how they're soldered onto the pad because it almost seems as though this is just one pad. But you do see the solder bits, and you see I actually nailed one off to the side there. Here's a look through some of the phosphor, and as you can see, it looks like it's just poured on top of there like some sort of jelly. So this is super cool. And there in the middle of your screen there, that's the that's the broken piece of solder that uh, I hit with my knife. Very cool stuff, very compact. I think this is kind of the best case scenario for LED strips in terms of dealing with multiple shadows. And so that's it for this LED strip. I really like this stuff and I'm not quite sure where I'm going to install it, but it is going somewhere. Um, yeah, it's just really, really good looking stuff. Um, if you have any ideas what you would like to do with it, uh, let me know in the comments below. I think this is a viable replacement for EL wire. They have to make these strips a little bit thinner, the part that doesn't have the LEDs. But I think this has real good potential to be a real nice decorative light. Thanks for watching.